Welcome back subject to investors. In this series, we're going to talk about marketing, but we're going to talk about marketing on both ends, marketing to buy and marketing to sell all at the same time, all in the same section. I tell you guys all the time, there is a method to the madness. I know we're only in week two and I know you're thinking, Ashley, I still don't know what subject two is. I still feel new to this. I am like, what's going on? Trust me, I got this. Listen, you signed up for this course because you said you wanted to start buying houses immediately and have at least one or two this year. The only way I can make sure that that happens is if we start marketing right now, like immediately. The whole purpose of this is to do lead generation, right? We're just gonna build up your leads list. We're gonna help you screen and source and really figure out who it is that you want to buy these houses from you and who it is you actually want to sell to. So trust me, I know this week is gonna feel fast and furious and confusing, but it will all come to a nice end next week, I promise you. But for now, stay with me, hang in there, buckle up and, and be excited. You're gonna buy some houses subject to this week, woohoo! All right guys, let's talk about some exit strategies. Now the one, number one exit strategy I'm gonna to talk to you about is owner financing. Again, this course is for people who are telling me I have no money, no credit, and I need to get paid as, I, as fast as I possibly can, right? So we're gonna spend a lot of time on owner financing, but you guys know I've been doing this for a while and I've bought quite a few houses this way. So I have a ton of exit strategies that I know you haven't heard because just like you, you know, I look on YouTube too, Everyone has the top five or the top 10. Well, what if I told you I had 18, 18 exit strategies? And what if I told you that you don't even have to wait for the next video to watch them? I'm gonna quickly review them right now. And then in the next video, we'll break a few of them down. Only the ones that I think are most valuable for this course. All right, let's get into our top 18. Number one, owner financing, of course. I always tell you guys for this course, that is the best way for you to make money as quickly as possible. Rental with cash, rental with the voucher. I distinguish the two because you're gonna look at two different demographics depending on what you decide to do. I am very open that I use voucher programs in my rental portfolio and I like that because I can get market value regardless of where the property is. However, if I chose the cash option, it doesn't matter what the market value says it is, it's just gonna be whatever that person or that demographic can afford to pay in cash. All right, Airbnb of course, fix and flip. You can sell it retail, throw that baby right on the MLS. You can sell it rent to own with a lease option, with a lease option wholesale. So the difference between a lease option and a lease option wholesale, lease option means you're gonna keep the house, you're gonna get a tenant buyer in there, you're gonna be responsible for it. A lease option wholesale just means you're going to wholesale that lease option once you get it written up all nice and pretty, you're gonna wholesale it to another investor and they're gonna take on the responsibility of it. 